That's a lot of nuts! That's right. I'm in Japan. As you can tell from the totally real background, I didn't want to stay in the United States anymore. Why? Ohio. That's why. If you take a look at a single one of the memes, oh, they might look like a little goofy little over-exaggerated location at first, but it's clear to me, a meme expert, that Ohio aims to do one thing and one thing only, and that is take over the universe. So I decided to move halfway around the world so I can be as far away from Ohio as possible, and the thought of that stupid state won't so much as enter my mind anymore. Over here, I'm safe. What's going on, average Japanese citizen? Ohio. 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 There's no escape. In my research for memes related to the Ohio incident, I thought that I would find just a couple of edits that portray Ohio as some sort of North Korean-esque superpower that's been memed into the idea of taking over the rest of North America and the world at any given moment. And while that is where our story starts, I think you'll be surprised to see the number of memes that actually do in one way or another find their comeuppance in the state of Ohio and will all lead you to believe that perhaps nuking Ohio into non-existence might be the best thing for us all. According to knowyourmeme.com, the earliest known meme that has to do with Ohio becoming a superpower and overtaking the rest of the world actually starts with quite the opposite, a random bus station that's got its little display saying that Ohio will be eliminated. Seems a little bit eerie. With the hindsight of living in 2023, you could probably look at this message and go, yeah, that's probably for the best. And I would agree, it's probably for the best. A few years go by without any real notion of the Ohio meme growing in its popularity until one day, an individual posts onto a map-related subreddit, this meme, portraying the designated zones around Ohio in which you may be in immediate danger of invasion, or you may have the slight illusion that you will not be invaded by Ohio. Of course, the takeaway from this map is that you are never safe. Ohio will hunt you down. What the hell? Oh my god! Over the course of time, more and more people started to make these maps in one way or another, showcasing the seemingly inevitable spread of Ohio into the rest of the United States, the rest of North America, the rest of the world even, and it started paying dividends, so much so that people started to make memes in response to the spread of Ohio showcasing the dangers that would occur if we weren't to take immediate action. Ohio needed to be nuked. Ohio needed to be destroyed. For if Ohio did anything other than invade Ohio, the best case scenario, the inevitable worst case scenario would be that the entire earth would be engulfed by Ohio. Wait, it's all Ohio? <laughs> Always has been. The year is 2016. The location, Cincinnati, Ohio. A couple of idiot parents decide to take their child to the zoo, an innocent endeavor. If the parents were at all capable of doing the one thing you should never let a child do, climb into the gorilla exhibit, decided to visit the gorilla exhibit, at which point their child climbed into the gorilla exhibit. Having to think fast, the zookeepers decided the only way to keep this child safe from the western lowland silverback gorilla in the enclosure was to shoot and kill said gorilla in the name of the child's safety. Devastating news spread throughout the internet so quickly and was such a tragedy it would actually give birth to another meme completely unrelated to the incident known as Meme Heaven, in which an image of the pearly gates and the staircase leading up to heaven would be surrounded by multiple dead celebrities as well as the aforementioned gorilla. His name was Harambe. Now, I don't feel like I need to emphasize just how south this timeline started to go starting in 2016. You think about every bad thing that has ever happened to you. Can you definitively say that it wasn't because of the year 2016? Did your life start going south after Harambe the Gorilla? May God rest his soul. I believe it did. But my biggest issue with the situation is the PR spin that Ohio seems to have done in order to take their name out of this incident. The Cincinnati Zoo 
We're calling it the Cincinnati Zoo. You know damn well Americans don't know their geography. I can barely find myself on a map. And think about how big I am. It's the Ohio Zoo. We should call it the Ohio Zoo and make sure Ohio takes full responsibility for the entirety of our lives going south because of what occurred in 2016. Dicks out for Harambe, damn it. Shout out to a random Chinese zoo who had a naming contest and decided to go with Harambe Harambe face. I know this article is completely false, but every time I look at it, it makes me smile. And I know he's smiling down at me too. Number 15, Burger King foot lettuce. Back in 2012, an anonymous Burger King employee posted this picture to the 4chan board, showcasing himself standing on two plastic tubs of lettuce and disgusting everybody in the process. If you're a regular Sumeto Media enjoyer, I'm sure you're quite familiar with this story thanks to the legendary narration of said story by YouTuber Chills. However, this video wasn't originally posted to Chills' YouTube channel. It was posted in a video format to the YouTube channel Top 15s in a video titled Top 15 Mysteries Solved by 4chan. And it is titled that because shortly after this image was posted, the anons on the board got to sleuthing and were able to narrow down the location of where this photo came from, sent the story to the local news networks, and subsequently got this employee fired. The location of this Burger King, of course, was on Mayfield Road, Ohio. Sir, get down! Sir, get down! Sir, get down! Get down! Get down! Get down! If you're watching my videos, you're probably no stranger to the sound bit that just played. This, Sir, get down! is etched into my brain from the numerous amount of Call of Duty montages and videos of police officers breakdancing over the sound, getting down as it were, but the origins of this clip are actually much darker than you may think. The sound bit comes from a police body cam of an officer trying to detain an individual walking illegally on the highway, at which point he recognizes this man is wanted for homicide. Immediately, the suspect pulls a knife on the officer, baiting him to fire his firearm, seemingly choosing death over a lengthy prison sentence. The officer recognizes the situation immediately, manages to scream for the man to get down in an effort to de-escalate the situation, and ultimately manages to detain, restrain the suspect, and bring him to justice. Ultimately, a happy ending. A man wanted for homicide was brought to justice with no further violence needed. We got some great memes out of the body cam footage, so hats off to you, Officer Joshua Hilling of the Ohio Police Department. Hey, Cole, we got the goddamn, Cole, we got the goddamn minutes of, minutes of car here, shout. What the fuck going on, cut it? Only in Cleveland, shout. Cut, that bitch running, oh, shit, he's sliding that bitch, shout, cut. That being running off of three AAA batteries, so. I think one of the most impressive things to come out of the negative stereotypes of Ohio is that the thought of living in Ohio, despite it probably being a completely normal state in reality, has superseded the idea that living anywhere else could be worse. The overly governmentally controlled North Korea, the social credit driven society of China, even living in Detroit that has legitimate gun crime issues and would overall not be the number one place you'd want to live in, has been overtaken by the Ohio meme. The whole meme about not being able to have shit in Detroit has been completely flipped on its head and now it's that you can't have shit in Ohio. What even is the meme at this point? In one hand, Ohio becomes the new place where you can't have shit. But on the other hand, you can't have shit in Detroit so much so that you can't even have the you can't have shit in Detroit meme in Detroit because now it's you can't have shit in Ohio. I'm, I'm starting to wonder what's worse. Ohio actually isn't that far from Virginia. In fact, it's so close that when I was applying for colleges and high school, one of the places I applied to was Ohio State University. I almost went there. Thankfully, before I got any of the papers back, I visited the doctor's office and was able to get that brain slug removed. And having gained my consciousness back, I realized that was a terrible idea. Did you guys know both the Paul brothers are from Ohio? I feel like they don't talk about that enough. I feel like we don't talk about that enough. I feel like the fact that Logan and Jake Paul are both from Ohio 
Like, just mix it into something else. Just call it, like, South Canada. Canada, you can have it, man. I don't want it anymore. It's home to nothing but terrible YouTubers and medium ugly women. I like medium ugly women. That's my type. I like a woman who, if she says she's from Ohio, you believe her. I feel like the memes about living in Ohio being some sort of surrealist nightmare are interesting and kind of funny. I think the actual memes that come out of Ohio are nightmare fuel. They don't make sense to me. Look at this one. It's about like the golden age of Subway when footlongs were actually $5. Seems like an okay meme, right? But then look at this one. Seems like it's just talking about the increasing price of Subway sandwiches over the year, which of course we can all relate to. I'd be unsatisfied by this as well. But then look at this one. I'm not even sure what's happening. Why are we introducing geometry, trigonometry, math, 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 mathematics? They get worse. Look, just keep looking at it. It gets like while you're looking at it, hit the subscribe button because it doesn't stop there. Hit the like button while you're at it. Big shout out to the Patreon boys. Are they getting worse? I don't know how many examples I have, but like it scares me, bro. Spice.